What's going on guys? Today we are going to be making one of my favorite summertime treats. We are going to be making fresh homemade pickles from vegetables right out of the garden. I have these beautiful cucumbers that I actually was given by a beautiful lady right out of her garden. Organic, delicious. Then I have a beautiful banana pepper to add just a teeny bit of kick to it. I have fresh delicious fresh garlic that I harvested from my garden about a month ago. I have, whoa, -ho, I have some beautiful fresh dill fronds that we're going to put in to make the dillicious pickles. And to keep the pickles crisp, we are going to be using grape leaves. Stay tuned, check it out. I'm going to show you how to make the brine. I'm going to show you how to build these, put them in the mason jars. It is going to be epic. I am in my garden and we are going to be clipping some fresh dill for our pickles we're making today. So we're just going to take some leaves from the grape arbor to make our pickles stay nice and crispy. And we just come over here and snip some leaves. Now to make a full batch of brine, I usually use a quart of apple cider vinegar. I use three quarts of water and a half a cup of salt. But today I'm going to do a half batch. I don't have that many cucumbers, so we're going to do everything by half. So I'm going to take two cups, a half a quart of apple cider vinegar. It goes right in the pot. Then I'm gonna take one and a half quarts, instead of three quarts, one and a half quarts of water, and that goes in. And then we're gonna be using a quarter cup of salt. And I love using Himalayan sea salt. It has a lot of minerals and delicious, wonderful stuff that is good for our body. So, half, a cup, no, a quarter. So we're using a quarter cup of salt. And then we just turn on the burner. We're gonna heat this up until it gets just to a boil so that all the salt dissolves and then the brine is ready for the pickles. We have a little bit of prepping to do to get ready for these pickles. The first thing I do is I take the garlic cloves, I cut off the ends, and then I just cut them down the middle. And then once I cut them down the middle, they just peel really easy. They're supposed to peel really easy. And uh, yeah, we get the cloves in half. We cut the cloves in halves. And we do this so that when I put them in the pickle jar, when I put them in the mason jar, all the vinegar and all the brine is gonna get soaked up in the open side and it's just gonna be delicious. The, the brine really mellows out the garlic. It gives the pickles an amazing flavor. I got these really cool mason jars, really unique. We're going to be making some fun pickles in those today. So I'm just going to cut up the rest of the garlic. And then I have this awesome banana pepper. So I'm just going to cut the end off the banana pepper. And I'm just going to cut it into rings. And I'm going to leave the seeds because I wanted the seeds for a little spice. Of course, the seeds at the top, this is going to have a little more heat than at the bottom where there are no seeds. But this is just going to add a little more depth and flavor. Look at these beautiful banana pepper rings. Awesome. Brine has come to a boil, so we just shut it off and let it cool down. When it gets to room temperature, we're just going to add this to our pickles. I have all my garlic peeled and cut in half. I got the banana peppers ready. Now we're going to work with the cucumbers. So, when you're making pickles, you want to make sure that they fit in the jar. And this one is definitely not going to fit in the jar. So we got to do a little measuring. And so I'm just going to cut the end off one end. Place it down here, and then I'm actually I'm even going to take the lid off. And we want to have it so the pickles come right to the line before the lid. And so for these pickles, I'm going to cut them about right there. So slice down. Now we have the size that is going to fit in the, the pickle jar, but we definitely don't want one pickle. We want a bunch of yummy spears, a little crispiness. So we are going to take this pickle, we're going to take this cucumber, we're going to cut it in half, and then we are going to start making spears. And we just cut down at an angle and at about the thickness that they want. And I think for this size, well, I'm just going to go with three. This is going to be the three dilio. One, maybe on this one, it's a little thicker. I might even get four. There we go. Okay, so 
It's as simple as that. So I'm just gonna slice all of my cucumbers up into spear shapes that fit in the jars, and then I'm gonna show you how to build the pickle jar. I have all the cucumbers sliced into spears, so now it is time to build our pickle jars. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in one grape leaf. Now you can use grape leaves, horseradish leaves, or horseradish root, and what it's supposed to do, what I've been told, is that it actually keeps and helps the pickles stay crisper. So I've been doing this ever since. Somebody smarter than me obviously figured this out. Then I'm gonna take about, I love garlic, so I'm gonna take three garlic cloves, throw them right in. I'm gonna take two banana peppers and we'll go one with the little membrane with the, the white, the seeds, and then one without for some spice. And the most important, because these are gonna be dill pickles. I don't know if they're kosher, but in my book, we're calling them kosher. And we put some of our dill fronds to get that delicious flavor. So you got this beautiful bouquet of all these wonderful flavors in there. And then after that, you just start adding the pickle spears. And you just stuff them in there and you really, you want the pickles to be down there nice and tight. This one, I'll actually turn around, that'll work. And you wanna put as many cucumber spears as you can possibly fit in here, because by stuffing them in there tight, it helps keep the pickles submerged under the brine. So I think that's about right. So we're gonna fill up all four of the jars, the three others, and then we'll be filling them with our brine. We have cooled the brine down to room temperature. The reason we want to do this is, especially when you're making pickle spears, if it's too hot, it's going to start making the insides of the pickles mushy. And we're not going to can these. We're going to basically pour the brine over these, and then we're going to put them in the fridge and let them chill. And so all we're going to do is start filling these jars up with this wonderful brine. And this is how simple and easy it is to make your pickles. This one is actually taking a tremendous amount of brine. And you fill it right to the top. These ones are going to take a lot less because they're much smaller. And you just fill them up. It is so simple, easy, and fun to make your own pickles. And once you try this, you are never going to buy store-bought pickles. And if you don't have your own garden, if you don't have your cucumbers and uh, ingredients right there, just go to the store and buy your own ingredients and make your own pickles you are gonna i don't know if you guys have ever seen the vlasic pickle commercial the old school one where the guy goes this is the best tasting pickle i ever had but these are going to be the best tasting pickles you've ever had and you will never buy store-bought pickles again anyway i'm going to finish filling these up we're going to put the lids on them and that's how easy it is to make homemade pickles so that's how you make homemade pickles straight from the garden so delicious, so easy, or go to the store, make it yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And if this is your first time on my channel, as always, please subscribe so you can see all my new videos and hit the notification bell so you can see what my next videos are. And you guys have an awesome day.